We are live and on the air on YouTube and Twitch. So welcome everyone to the Foolish Tech Show. It is a lovely Thursday afternoon. Yep, Thursday. Uh, we are here mainly to provide everyone with support and answer any questions about our products and services. If you do have any of those, feel free to jump over to foolishtechshow.com. We'll have a couple ways you can join our IRC chat from there. We'll be more than happy to talk directly to you. Um, if we don't have any of those questions, then we will fill the air with uh, random uh, shop talk. And just keep in mind any opinions expressed here of the person that expressed them and not the entire company. And otherwise, how's everyone doing today? Doing well. Just fine, thank you. Doing okay. We got a... Uh, Farley Phoenix USS Rover and in our chat and talking so thanks everyone for joining us and uh, yeah some terrible news today as, as if this year couldn't get any worse it has apparently gotten much more worse um, so the uh, creator of the red solo cup uh, has died now and uh, Debbie Reynolds passed away yesterday, a day after her daughter. How terrible is that? Oh, uh, so sad. So sad. Man. I, uh, I've heard of things like this happening with husband and wives and, 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 and other types of very close relationships, including, you know, uh, uh, mother and son and or daughter. Uh, it's just rare that um, such two prominent figures, uh, you know, uh, do that, I guess. Um, uh, certainly, these are icons from my childhood. I expected to be around for a good while, and uh, it seems like they were pulled a little bit too early. Uh, at least, I, I, I did see one meme that was uh, that was fairly accurate. It was like, so uh, remember your childhood and uh, everything you loved about growing up, and then it said. Well, I'm 2016, and I'm here to destroy you. <laughs> and basically, like, all the childhood heroes have passed. David Bowie, George Michaels, uh, Leia. Man, it's just not been good. Yeah, just, what, what, what two? What's the two? You said the Solo Cup person? Uh, the Red Solo Cup creator died, and Debbie, Debbie Reynolds. Reynolds. Okay. okay, who's that? I thought you were uh, saying that was the, a solo cup person. No, she Debbie Reynolds is the the lead actress in uh, Sound of Music. No, not the Sound of Music. Um, it was a it was. it was a Broadway play. I forget what it was called, but uh, she yeah, and she won an Academy uh, Award uh, for something as well. Was it the Sound what? of Music? No, I don't. No one. No. Okay, great. Cool. Um. I don't know either. So, well, at first I thought it was Debbie Dubs Dallas, but it was definitely. She was in singing. No, Jesus, no, it's not. Uh, she was in the original '73 Charlotte's Web. She was in Fear and Loathing in Las Vegas as herself, singing in the rain. That's what it was, not singing in the rain. It's close. And that's what Johnny just said too, but we can barely hear her. So. I don't know why. I can hear now we can hear you better. Can you hear me better now? Oh, jeez, a little loud, but um. Oh. Yeah, quite quite a illustrious career, and you know it was uh, you know very much in its height in the you know I guess in in the in the fifties um you know and she yet she continued to star in things well through uh into the is well, at least she to the nineties. Rugrats, Will and Grace. Um, oh no! Into the two thousands, at least, yeah. Into two thousands. She had her own show for a whole year. She was on Roseanne. She was on Wings. Those are all just one one time off. She was on the Golden Girls. Mm-hmm. 
So yeah, I mean, so so really, I mean, while you know, possibly our our parents may have seen her as more popular figure in in their times. Um, certainly, we have plenty of points of reference in our lives to in our lives to 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 point to, and uh, that's pretty amazing. Uh, an entire career, you know, dedicated to the art, and then you know this. this She's track. been in stuff since 1948. Uh, my dad was uh, born in 45, so. Uh, yeah, so she's been in a lot, but it, more, I think, more importantly to everyone is probably the fact that she was uh, Leia's mother, and right after that, like, even it, even if she wasn't a famous actor, that would be terrible that right after your daughter dies, the next day the mother dies. So, <laughs> Phoenix says he swears if Billy Joel drops dead, he'll be so pissed. Um, <laughs> I'm Billy Joel. Sorry, I, I care not about our royal family of Hollywood. So yeah. it happens to all kind of people other than them. Um, anyway, maybe this will help lift some of the spirits. Here's a uh, 10,000 sparklers going off at once. <laughs> Thanks. Anything, anything at all to take us out of that. It is pretty impressive. Um, and then let's see, Phoenix has already got some links out here. Let's see what he's got. Um, while I'm looking over those, uh, let you know that there's a updated version of Crypto Prevent Out 0.13 and has some fixes that uh, Farley pointed out for white label versions. And a Phoenix's links are infamous piracy group says it's ready to start leaking screeners. Mm. On that same note, um, I thought this was pretty interesting that uh, apparently the uh, the music industry has... that was exciting. Thank you for sharing that. Uh, that. That was wonderful information. What's going on? Oh, oh, record. Uh, are you talking about the record um, sales? Um, yeah, the music industry is loving streaming now and says it's been their savior, even though they've been fighting against the Internet since its inception. Mm. Thanks, Metallica. Yeah, but I, I don't know if uh, I mean it, it, I guess it would have been different if they were again anti-streaming to begin with, and now they 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 love it. But they were just anti-piracy, and and streaming turned out to be a really good way for uh, them to mitigate. They didn't that. like streaming either. Uh, uh, well, they, the, you know, they have to be forced into it. Well, I mean, certainly though, it's uh, it, it's great for their business model. Um, they they essentially had to be forced into it because of how rampant piracy became. Because they gave you no options to get it online, you had to go out and buy CDs. Still, it's crazy. I I think that the music industry is moving. Uh, at least the bands that I enjoy are moving towards the the better model, although. Most of them are fairly recognizable and can do things like this where and they release their album for free online and then they profit off shows and merchandise and things of that nature. Mm -hmm. um, Radiohead was pretty much the one that started all that stuff off. Run the Jewels just released their album for free and several others have done the same. Yeah, I remember Radiohead. Were they were were they the first? I feel like they were. They were the first widespread, well-known one. Uh, I want to 
know if I can. Uh, I don't know. Uh, yeah. I mean, obviously, there's gonna, out there releasing their music online for free. But I'm gonna hold that back because I, I swear there's some EDM and some lesser known artists that have also that's done what the I'm same. Saying. They can, they just throw their music out on the internet. And if I'm talking about like a major record, yeah, yeah. recognizable name and stuff like that. Yeah, it's probably yeah. Uh, no, that might be right. Yeah. Cool, cool. Oh uh, yeah, Rover. I do remember Sony adding uh, root kits to their basically DRM stuff. Yeah, to uh, ensure our music isn't or our media isn't copyrighted and fringe, we're going to uh, take over every computer in the world that uh, uses any of it. Great job, Sony. Um. Let's see what other links uh, Phoenix had here. Oh, not a good day. Not a good week for uh, PHP, apparently. So three new critical zero-day flaws found in PHP 7. This is on top of the uh, email PHP issue that we talked about earlier. And uh, I thought this was funny. So uh, it's apparently no longer going to be a BSOD. We're going to have to call it a GSOD. Yeah, we, we've actually halfway discussed this before. This wasn't the first time. This has been available in some um, uh, preview or insider builds. Um, but um, I, I, I think it's uh, – it's. It, I don't know. I see. That's what I don't. I don't get why this story Maybe is out we've today. Discussed this before because I. It was just released in one of the. I I I, I know, but I, I've I've heard about this and I remember the green as well. Um, it's sure. exactly the same screen. It shows the Show screen. me an article. Uh, I'm gonna try to try to find it. Um. But it was like months ago. While Michael goes on his wild goose chase, um, I it's really it, when you look at that screen though, it doesn't look like an error message with it being all green. I think that's a terrible color for them to have chosen. Like uh, obviously the 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 window should be red. It should be a red screen of death, but. That would make people angry, so I see why they chose blue, but I don't see why they're changing it now. How many things out there have BSOD, and now all those memes and t-shirts and things are going to have to be updated to GSOD? That just doesn't roll off the tongue as well. Glenn says that beta versions of Windows 8 Windows 8 had a, a red screen. I think that's obviously what it should be, but I can understand. I would not want my computer turning red every time it uh, breaks because I would then be more inclined to further break it myself. <laughs> um, and last link uh, Phoenix posted is Firefox 52, better font and fingerprint protection. Okay, I'm gonna guess that's fingerprinting for like identification of other things, not your fingerprint scanning stuff. Um, so thanks for those links, uh, Phoenix. Let's see if I had some other happy stuff. Oh, this is a good one. Uh, 1.65 million acres of Native American land have now been designated as uh, national monuments, uh, protecting land from private and private development and granting the federal government broad control to protect it. Um, I did not read all of this, but I'm also wondering how this affects uh, 
the Native Americans that may want to live and or develop there. Um, anyway, apparently this is the 29th time he's enacted the law where he can create national monuments without checking for approval from Congress. Who, uh, uh, Obama? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. We'll see how it goes. Um, Nick, uh, their Windows 10 is going to bring a uh, feature that you've been wanting, I believe. Uh, the ability to essentially disable Windows updates on Windows 10. They they don't let you go the full full mile or nine yards or whatever. You can't completely disable it. You can only temporarily disable it for up to 35 days. And they call it pausing updates. So now you won't have to defer updates. But you can still defer updates and pause it. So 35 days later, you'll get the deferred updates. And I'm not sure how far deferred updates hold you back or not. But apparently they've been getting a lot of grief about having Windows 10 uh, automatically update. Mm. And I thought this was uh, pretty interesting. So uh, wondering how Amazon is going to do uh... – oh, yeah, Wesker's, that will help a lot, uh, having mobile systems. Um, is the Verizon – does the Verizon card show up as an Ethernet adapter? Or I would assume it would, wouldn't it? So yeah, you can't set that as a uh, a mobile hotspot so that you can't so it won't download updates on that connection. Um, there was an app that you could do that with though. Setting them as metered connections. I don't remember what the app is, but here's a link to the registry key that you'd have to do. Ah, yeah, yeah, so the same thing. Um, th that registry key setting, though, if you change that, oh, they don't like ad blockers. Um, let's see if CNET likes ad blockers. Yeah, they're fine with it. Oh, they're fine with it because freaking ads pop up all over the thing. Stupid Cena, not giving out that link. How to geek. That can't fail, right? Yeah, that one's fine. There you go. So now you can set your Ethernet connection as a metered connection, and uh, that will assist if you're connecting your phone directly to a mobile device because that shows up as an Ethernet connection, not a wireless connection. And the only way in the interface to do it is uh, for wireless connections to be metered. And metered is supposed to save not only from you downloading Windows updates over it, but also from other apps just running willy-nilly and doing whatever they want with your data stuff. So. That's good. Thank you. That I needed. Yeah. Yeah, we we had actually talked about it. And right after that, after we had talked about it, that's when that app came up. And I can't remember what it was, but it'll. It, there's an app out there that will do that, that you can set 
Ethernet connections to metered, but I can't find it offhand. But it essentially just changes that registry thing. So. Um, I thought this was pretty insane. I was wondering how the drone delivery was going to work with uh, the limited lifespan drone batteries and such. But apparently uh, Amazon is looking like they're going to have a blimp flying around with essentially a factory inside of it. And then the drones will be deployed from the blimp to their respective delivery locations and then return to the blimp. And then the blimp will return back to their main warehouse to re-up on deliveries. I believe these are all just patents, obviously not having come to full accord, but here's another article on it that has some different pictures. If you're interested in checking how that setup and system would work, um, I think it'll be pretty exciting. Yeah, um, apparently the only thing I can think that I saw was that uh, red screen. Of, I guess it wasn't a green oh, thing. Oh, yeah, falling back on Glenn. I no, uh, you know, and, and, and how would I actually know? Really, Google would just proffer up a result from 10 years ago? Yeah, without me digging through 10,000 pages. It doesn't even... Uh, I need um, to go, oh, yeah, the Wayback you... Machine, the Wayback Machine, I can do that. No, you'd have to know what site you want to go way back on. Mm. And uh, you can search for articles that are older or within a specific date time. Let me do that. Let me see. Let's see. Date added. Okay. I cannot do it without knowing a specific date, though. So you would add a that to it. Yeah, I I I I know how to do it. Uh, it's described here, which that's got a ton of awesome things for Google search query typing. But, like I said in the first place, you're not going to find it, so. On top of that disappointment, Michael, there's more disappointment for you. Oh, no. The uh, Harvard research that believed they might have found a bacteria in your liver to cure uh, type 1 diabetes, mm. they mm -hmm. came back after several years of testing and uh, not being able to reproduce the results and said, nope, we were wrong. Sorry. That's horrible. It is. It did sound like a good thing. So mm. Maybe they can figure out how they did that first test that got it working. Well, I don't know. That wasn't necessarily the one that I was rooting for, but um, anyone, obviously, uh, was was. Uh, anyway, it's um, it's unlikely they would ever do something like that. I mean, the the I've told you how much money they make off of the equipment that they the little plastic tubing that costs a thousand dollar, a hundred dollars, or or whatever the 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 fine little tiny bits of uh, metal and and copper that cost somehow hundreds of dollars, and uh, you know all those little things somebody's making way too much money off of that for them to ever allow a cure a permanent cure show me show me some show me anything that that is cured today that doesn't require a pill every single day or multiple pills every single day when's the last time that's ever happened we actually just killed somebody with one like small series of shots and that was it 
I don't know. But even more distressing is the fact that kill disk malware has now turned into ransomware. And the bad thing about this is uh, kill, disk, kill disk has been used in attacks aimed at industrial control systems. So not only could they bring the entire power grid down, possibly they would also then hold them for ransom. So it looks like all of them are evolving towards uh, ransom style. So this is a a conflicting story if it's good and or bad. I mean, obviously it's bad for several reasons, but slightly good because um, required autonomous uh, features in the truck helped save lives in the the Berlin truck incident. Um, I didn't even know the full details that some guy just ran a, a semi into a crowded uh, group of people um, but apparently because the European Union has uh, passed regulations requiring newly manufactured heavy vehicles to come equipped with advanced emergency braking systems it stopped itself it stopped itself before it could get much further some people thought that the driver was acting erratically um to stop you know uh because he was sh injured but um they now in retrospect believe that it was the emergency braking on the vehicle that made it appear uh so, well, made some of that appear the way it did that it did um but uh yeah that's uh that's really interesting and uh i guess none of the truck manufacturers nobody complained about it or not really clear how they subsidize that it sounds like that would be a very high cost to make that happen on all uh, vehicles but it does certainly sound like it uh, has already proven to s have saved some lives right yeah um yeah glenn i i saw that too 222 bitcoins with the way bitcoin price is rising that's just under that's hundreds of thousands of dollars, yeah. Oh, wow. So that is fairly expensive. Um, if you're attacking industrial control systems, though, you're, you're probably going against nation states. So that would be the target price range. Um, I thought this was uh, pretty interesting. A, uh, you can make a web interface to upload files to your Raspberry Pi. So if you're using it as a headless system, you can uh, add drives from anywhere. Of course, you would have to open some ports and various things like that to do it outside of your network. Pretty neat. And I thought these were interesting. I didn't actually read either of these. I just clicked on because the clickbait titles interested me. But uh, the first one I saw was this, and I was going to check it out later and see if it had some interesting information in it, which is USB sticks can improve security. And then I came across this one, that USB sticks can be a security risk. So there's both sides of the story. I've been noticing that a lot recently. Like, remember that thing that said... Um, uh, that PGP uh, is dead, you know, and we should all move on. Um, we've given up on it. Well, there was an alternative one that said the exact opposite of that. And I, I, I was just shocked to, to, to see that. Um, yeah, there's, there's, there's no general consensus. I'm not even sure there's facts at all anymore. These are both coming from the same site, though. 
Oh no, this was the same too. It was both from yeah. ours. I be ours, I believe. They just posted two different people's op eds on it on the subject. I mean, they were op eds, and they were legitimately uh, uh, presented as op eds. So I mean, I really can't fault them too much for it. Um, you you'd expect there to be differing viewpoints on the matter, but I just I just don't, didn't expect in such a kind of a close period of time for that to for, for those stories to be on on there. So. Then not a problem. Uh, what's an MLM though? Um, real quick on that. Uh, oh, I don't have the chat open. The second uh, link I posted, the ways USB stick can be security risk. Check out that USB stick at, under the number five in the picture. That is a freaking sweet USB stick. Uh, Multi-level marketing is what he's referring to, Brantley. Um, that uh, basically um, pyramid schemes. That's interesting. I wonder how that would work with uh, Bitcoin wealth creation stuff. Well, they have it. For instance, my dad came up to me and he asked me, he was like, oh, is this worth it, Michael? And and it was basically a, um, an MLM, uh, a multi-level marketing scheme uh, for Bitcoin. And it was just basically, you know, riding on the hype of Bitcoin. And it was just suggesting that basically anybody could uh, just go into one of these things and basically start making free money every week. And, um, and they've been pushing it towards uh, people who are older, who people who, you know, generally, um, you know, are the ones that buy those you know commemorative gold coins on tv or whatever um thinking that uh they'll suddenly get rich because gold will you know go up a thousand fold in price and they'll suddenly have a million dollars in gold underneath them you know no i mean uh, uh and and it's really just a scam and 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 but they're pushing it they're pushing all the big qualities of it look at the value look at how much it's gone up look at all these things look at all this and it and it get raises excitement it gets my people like my father excited and 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 it's unfortunate and because i mean you know he's a fairly he's an okay his level of intelligence is pretty up there and i would say that you know if he's potentially being influenced by that uh, a lot of others uh, could be as well you know I'm, I'm not saying everybody would be but 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 and, and you know people who maybe are a little bit more untapped to the security aspect of it like ourselves would 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 not you know fall victim to it but it's uh, it's a real concern, and uh, a lot of money is is lost, and a lot of it's just not talked about. Those types of things, we think it's all just fun and games to watch these commercials on TV, but we don't really think somebody's actually buying it. Well, those commercials wouldn't be on if somebody actually wasn't doing it. And uh, the same way for the web commercials and all that, uh, it might not even have to be on TV anymore these days. So, that's interesting. I I just checked, and with the current price of Bitcoin. The mining that I've done so far, I have essentially broken even. So I have about. And that's a tremendous eight. amount of effort. And, and, and with the cost of the miner. And power, yeah. And power. Yeah. And over what length of time, you know, to, to accomplish and achieve that, you know? Uh, it, every year. Yeah. I mean, and, and, and these things are basically offer and stuff to say these people get rich quick in basically but, I, mean, but I mean technically they're correct if you had invested like if i had gone out and just purchased straight bitcoins last year when the price went down to 365 yeah but that's the point you can't do it after the fact and it's always still a gamble because there are instances of bitcoin dropping dramatically particularly after all those uh you know when the, there was uh issues about the uh, uh Exchanges, you know, being compromised and things um, like that. The the, the price fluctuates like anything. Seven two. Oh yeah, good point. Good point. So. Uh, oh wow, Glenn. So uh, Eric says he's got a D seven two question. Trying to use D seven two to figure out whether a driver on this laptop is causing the machine to lock up after startup or not. Um. The uh, what is hang app is probably what I would have start up with D72. So you have D72 running on it. I'm guessing you can probably do fine in safe mode. And then when you reboot it, it starts Steven 72 up. Add it so that that what is hang default app uh, goes in the D72 
startup uh, thing. And then that what is hang will start up and possibly tell you what's causing the system to hang. It, I guess it depends on how long the system's getting. But. Yeah, well, if it is truly a driver, that may be problematic. What um, I might also suggest, and it's a more of a manual process, uh, it can be initiated with D7 uh, too, but it, 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 it would probably require some, some, some intervention, uh, but using something like auto runs to, to selectively disable the drivers from loading um, and, uh, and you know, do one at a time, and see which one it is, just narrow it down. Now, that can be quite time consuming though, if there's, if this is generating a BSOD or any other information that can be uh, gathered otherwise, that would be, um, that would, you know, be much more helpful, something like what Brantley was suggesting. Um, I don't know, I guess this rover are you agreeing with me or not, I'm not sure, but, but at any rate, um, the, 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 those are generally good ideas uh, uh, to, to, to approach that. Yeah, I think it's the near soft app is the what is hang, and then auto runs is the sys internal stool. But between those two, you should be able to enable, disable things. Um, to the event logs. Um, yeah, usually uh, something like that will have some sort of report, if nothing else, for a timeout, a warning, or something. Mm -hmm. I was going to say event logs, and uh, you could use uh, defunct to look at the service entry and check the file stuff and all that. D7 to event log viewer. Mm -hmm. Better. Yeah, it's a, it's a, it allows you to search the event log for those types of things and get to them a lot more quickly than using the uh, traditional, you know, the other menu, the way otherwise. Um, but uh, yeah, that's under the menus in D7 too. Eric, it might be if it's the video card driver. He said he doesn't know if the issue is staring him in the face or not. Well, you'll know if you see a face staring back at you on the screen <laughs> laughing, I suppose. But but. Uh, um, does that usually happen? Um, I don't. I don't know. I've never seen that. Something try to take over your YouTube video. YouTube right? has gone down. YouTube is still down. Um, Proctor, run out of space. Uh, sinus pain. My um, yeah. A lot of people have been suffering from sinus issues recently. Um, including uh, my mother, who's also suffering from a swollen larynx, which means she's not able to communicate. It's uh, very difficult to, uh, to to do that right now with her. Um, but uh, those types of things are, are generally making their rounds. I've been fortunate so far. Um, I had some stomach issues, but 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 I don't think anything like this. Um, but get to the, the 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 doctor. They can prescribe uh, some antibiotics, typically, and uh, some um, uh, some additional things to uh, to assist with that. Drive is full. And we're back. Uh, <laughs> everyone shame Proctor. Oh, no, no, he doesn't need to be shamed, uh, I would say. If you can't manage your, your hard drive space, you need to be shamed. Okay, look, right. uh, you can get a four terabyte drive these days for 120 you know, to $130. So um, go buy him one, Michael, and send it to him. Do we have to hear the same speech you just gave Proctor when no one was online? Yeah, I don't think That'd we do. Good. Proctor obviously knows how much disk drives cost. Yes. So, Michael, if you have a suggestion, why don't you suggest he give you his postal address and you send him some drives? Mm, okay. 
Yeah, it does take the heat off, Michael. I swear I wouldn't have either of them streaming if I could have more than four megs of bandwidth upload. <laughs> but I can't, so we have to deal. They've been doing good, though. Um, Phoenix has got 100 terabytes. Where do you got a hundred terabytes, Phoenix? In a rack, I'm assuming. That's easily done. What, what are you talking about? That's easily done. I mean, you know, I mean, just at the space. price you just quoted. Yeah, which you probably would use higher capacity drives for something that large you would use probably 10 terabyte drives which uh, are considerably more expensive in fact let's remove the lower capacity options and just lose 10 12 and just at the price you're talking about the four terabyte drives to get 100 terabytes you'd spend three thousand dollars now if you're talking about you'd get larger drives you're going to be increasing that price tenfold um, and yeah. I want to know where he's got uh, so about four hundred dollars per drive. I want to know where he's got something that'll hold twenty-five drives. So for four thousand dollars, you can get that amount of storage. And that's pretty cheap. What? Where are you at that? Four hundred dollars for a ten terabyte drive times ten. Ten times ten is a hundred terabytes. So Michael said that's pretty cheap. Is that our Christmas presents next year? Michael? <sighs> no. And why weren't there our Christmas presents this year? Right. Right. That's what I'm wondering now. Oh, fudge. Michael, your hair looks phenomenal today. Oh, thank you. I've, I've not done anything to it. And we quite can't see it. She was joking. Yep. Oh, it's horrible. Oh, God, that's awful. And what, you were quoting the, the Seagate price? Um, I guess, yeah, yeah. But, I mean, you know, that'll that'll fluctuate, you know. Pick whatever you want to. There's a, yeah, well, Seagate seems to have, there's a, oof. You know, <laughs> yeah, it'll be closer to 6000 for, uh, Western Digital uh, high-end ones, um, data center drives. But they probably got some the reliability figures to match. Phoenix says he knows people, so you don't actually have 100 terabytes of hard drive space. You have access to 100 terabytes of hard drive space. Oh, there's one 12 gig, uh, 12 terabyte option. And if that's the case, I think I have access to unlimited hard drive space because I have Amazon Prime with unlimited storage. Oh no, that's not gonna do it. And as far as I understand, Amazon doesn't really care if you actually use unlimited storage. They just don't make a good backup utility to store to Amazon Drive. All right, well, with all the fun that we've had on the streaming, if you still have your Christmas tree, please get rid of it now. <laughs> is that uh, is that exciting cases of actual, yes, it National no. Fire Protection. New Year. Well, the National Fire Protection Association says that it is the most likely thing to cause a uh, huge fire hazard. Yeah, you know, we traditionally have always kept it up till New Year's and then taken it down. Um, That's normally what I do. Now, if it's well maintained and it's not let to just dry rot, you know, I I think it's it's okay. Um, 
and of course this is more of a fire safety to begin with i mean you just generally don't want to overpopulate sockets and stick you know lots of wrapping paper or, or you know kindling around it so that god forbid a a, a spark were to happen it you know it, it wouldn't you know your whole house wouldn't burst into flames um yeah just general awareness i i, I don't think I, I don't think you have to worry issue. about the kindling around it the treat the no. like dry tree of yeah the tree <laughs> itself is more than enough kindling all right well well the dry tree but uh, you're not taking care of your tree and you know just like anything else you know you don't take, get a pet and, and and just leave it without any food or water and expect it to be alive did you watch that video um, granted they did say that this tree has not been watered however i have seen pine trees that are in the ground living go up in flames just as quickly so well i i don't think that anybody should necessarily change their their um traditions regarding Probably that but have a tree. um as long as you're careful i think it can be done and done rather safely Brantley's like what do you need a tree for you got tons of them out back well, my parents have, um, you know, uh, in later their life, later in their lives, they've they've tended towards a, a artificial tree. Um, uh, you know, um, you see much more easy to maintain, and uh, I think a, well, a, a decent artificial tree probably has some anti um, combustive uh, compounds in it that might uh, assist. I like um, live trees. Uh, growing up, we always had artificial trees, but you know, it's you know, since it's been my choice as to what we get, it's uh, it's always been a live tree. I've always had a real tree. I can't remember at any time did I have a fake one. Even like growing up, it was always alive. It's just recently that they've gotten older that they've have. Fake actually, ones. wanted to go this year and actually you know go cut it down, but we didn't get the chance. Later, Glenn. Probably I'm sorry, next year. Johnny. Go go ahead and finish. What were you saying about um? You always had, so you say you always had a real uh, tree as a child? Yeah. So I was going to say something else, but it was inappropriate. Uh. So uh, <laughs> now I'm curious. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, I do have a, um, I do have a little Charlie Brown Christmas tree that my mom bought for me. Oh. Oh. Except it's in storage at her house. But you know, like the Charlie Brown Christmas tree has the little, like the one little bulb, mm -hmm. like the red mm -hmm. bulb. Well, this year Brantley bought me. <laughs> well, this year Brantley bought me a John Deere tractor to put on mine. So I can't wait to. A uh, John Deere, yes, that's maybe perfect next for you. Christmas I can use it. Thanks to the Cracker Barrel. Yes, thank you, Cracker Barrel. Oh, they do sometimes have some interesting knickknacks in, in, in there and, and, and things. My mom is a is an avid collector. Of, spending money on in that entire restaurant is the knickknacks they make you wait in line to get through. And we got it for yeah. half off. And I was going to purchase it, but Brantley decided I was yeah. moving too slow. Every um, time you say knickknack in conversation, it, my turn, I'm like, what? <laughs> oh man, Sorry. that's gonna be your new nickname, Nick. Nick. <laughs> I, I, my my uh, my. Um, I didn't even think about uh, your name. Got it right as nickname. Uh, got it right away too. A family member of mine collects frogs and uh, frog uh, things, and they would. <laughs> and my mom collects. Frogs. Are they looking for a prince? Yeah, or? there you go. No, the frogs just in general, and it could be modeled after Prince or Princess or anything else. But as my long as it's frogs, is, for everything is ribbit. She there you go. Like They're very popular, and 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 they had at Cracker Barrel a great little uh, set of frog designs that I thought was so cute, and uh, she loved them. So I like um, I like RTM text message. Uh, he says his wife is allergic to the fake tree, but then he's thinking she might just not want to help him decorate it. <laughs> Man, I should have thought of that growing up. Mom, I can't help this year. That tree, I'm allergic to it. Yeah, like your mom's allergic to fleas. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I think, okay. <laughs> RTM Tech 
pointed out you can't watch Nickelodeon either. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, I thought this was pretty interesting. Uh, Johnny and I have uh, different takes on uh, which hoodie styles we prefer. She prefers the one without zippers, so she gets the whole through the hand pocket. I prefer the one with with zippers, so I can uh, adjust the comfort level of warmth and such. And apparently, uh, Life Hacker tells you how you can add a zipper to your uh, regular hoodies. So you might be able to get the best of both worlds. Obviously, <laughs> to keep the center pocket, you have to um, eventually life hackers just going to tell us how to live again. <laughs> yeah. you know, like we used to before we had so much technology, we got stupid. Um, I have one more to, to, to share. This is a little bit on the funny side, but um, uh, this is an article about um, uh, what you might find if you type in like NASA hiding or uh, something like that into Google. But um, it's interesting what some sites uh, that they go to and what uh, news they report related uh, to, to, you know, over the, over the course of a year uh, related to aliens, I guess, and space related events conspiracy type stuff. I want to of... post that other link, but I can't. You uh, all know the link. Oh, oh, well, yeah, no, no, no. Don't. No. <laughs> no. 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 <laughs> and I thought my story was <laughs> Um. But, well, we are at the top of the hour. So, hey, was this the Mimi thing you were talking about? You posted earlier. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay. They just saw that. <laughs> I was muted <laughs> this time, anyway. <laughs> um. All right. Well, let's go ahead and wrap her up for today. Yeah. Um. Unless anybody else has got anything super fun or interesting to do. Oh, one more life hacker thing that does kind of take you back before we had all this technology, but still integrates technology at the same time. You can build your own volume knob, USB powered. So if you hit yeah. buttons or on screen icons and such, you can now make a USB powered volume knob and it lights up mm -hmm. you, those I, are also simple projects that you could do with like even um if you want to incorporate like an arduino or, or pi or something like that you could uh yeah you know there's been um some radio builds uh based around pies and things like that that have incorporated knobs and other things yeah i highly prefer a uh a knob versus buttons yeah, I can definitely see that. I just it don't have It probably does. It, I bet RTM Tech, you could even make it go over 9,000. Make it 11, though. Um, 11 Finity. We need new numbers. There you go. Because <laughs> we don't have enough, right? When has anyone ever run out of numbers to use? Okay. All the time in certain data types. Um, uh, well, you know what I mean. <laughs> <laughs> That's why we have infinity is because we run out of numbers, isn't it? No, we just don't like saying them all. <laughs> but... Anyway, Alien Covenant yes. uh, trailer came out, if y'all didn't know. Asking you the bigger number. And you shut up the kids. Alien Covenant we trailer? Have oh, new Alien. Um, I think you put too many T's in there, but other than that. Yeah, I did. Yeah, that, it looks awesome. 
it looks just as good as whatever the one right before this was. Bye, Brian. And everybody. All right, everyone. We will see you tomorrow at 6 p.m. for our Friday show. Thanks, everyone, for joining us and partaking and uh, hanging around while Proctor works out his space issues. And we will be back tomorrow. If you have any questions or uh, concerns about our product service, you can always reach out to our support anytime, anywhere. And if not, and you want to talk to us directly, you can wait until 6, and we'll be back then. So officially, you can take us out now, Proctor. All right.